Another episode. I'm reading your answers, or your questions. Fuck. I'm... I am reading your questions that you have asked me. Again. Because I am wholly original, and this totally isn't recorded immediately after the last one. Shh, it's, it's YouTube magic. Shh, don't worry about it. Don't think about it too much. Anyway, the next questions. The more questions. I'm not very funny. That's why I ask you to be funny for me. Gravity asks me, What got you into making videos, and how did you create your characters? Any inspiration? Inspiration for the character? Vaguely was um, Tabitha, Tabby Cat's character. Um, originally my this character was a wolf, and then I changed it into a cat with assets, much like Tabitha. So that's how the character kind of came about, being into that whole kind of subgroup. And then um, making videos was something I did well before I ever had the, like, the furry character. I used to make videos a long time ago. They're all gone now. They are lost to the ethos, but now I'm here. I have some of you watching. I'm sure I'm sure there's at least 200 of you watching this video because it's not a fuzzy doctor video, so it's not going to get tens of thousands of views, but it's okay. I understand that. And I'm only a little hurt by it, everybody. Okay, I'm only going to cry for a little bit when I see the stats, okay? Anyway, next question. All right, from Lucky Emerald. First question, what is your favorite candy? Second question, what size is I'm not answering that on a YouTube video. Um... <laughs> First question, favorite candy. I don't really eat candy. I'm very sorry to like ruin your hopes and dreams. Uh, gummy bears, never mind. That's easy for me. Haribo gummy bears. Because let me tell you, they have unparalleled mouthfeel for a gummy. Like most gummies, they're just mushy. They don't feel great when you're chewing on them, but a Haribo gummy bear. Let me tell you, you bite into one of those and it, it's a, like, you gotta, like, chew through that shit, right? And that's what I fucking want out of a gummy bear. So, Haribo gummy bears. Absolutely my favorite. Totally should sponsor me. I'm totally sponsor friendly, okay? You gotta just look past everything I do. And then you should totally sponsor me. Because I love your gummy bears. Please? Next question. P POV, you mentioned how much her back must hurt. I mean, somebody had to mention. Surprisingly, nobody has. So I'm so proud of all of you for not mentioning back pain. Okay? I'm so proud of every single one of you for it getting this far before somebody asks. But thank you for asking. Yes, my back does hurt. On to the next question. Margo asking, what's a game you love? And a game that you'll never touch without a one million dollar donation. Game I love. I did say Sly Cooper in the last episode, but I'll try to give you another answer to kind of like roll off of that. I have been. I mean, the the cop out answer would be to say Skyrim. It, it just works because I love that game. And I have way too many mods, and that's definitely the reason I enjoy it as much as I do. If you know what I mean, and. <laughs> Um, yeah, just even without mods, I put so many hours into Skyrim when I finally got it, so. Skyrim's a game I love. Game I'll never touch without a- ga game I wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole or without a significant amount of money. I'm probably never going to touch Cyberpunk. I know that's a very bold answer to say, but it was just- it was too much of a shit show. And everybody I ever talked to- it's so vastly different, everybody's experience with the game. It's just not consistent enough for me to warrant actually getting the game. Because you ask one person, they're like, oh yeah, I had almost no bugs and the game was perfect. Then you ask another person, they're like, oh yeah, I crashed like 800 times and the game was nearly unplayable. So, I just don't know. So I'm just probably not going to get the game. I don't blame the devs, nor am I bullying the devs. Because 9 times out of 10, it is not the devs' fault. It's always a publisher issue. or almost, It is almost always a publisher issue. So... In no way am I giving CD Projekt Red like a bunch of shit for that. It's almost always your publisher, not your developers. Rant over. Next question. Sky the Dragon. <sighs> Renshi. Wow, two in a row, huh? Two in a row. Fingers? Hello? 
Two in a row, huh? I will not answer those <laughs> on the YouTube video. Not bad questions, I guess, but not on the YouTube video. I refuse. If you want to see those questions, you can go to the Twitter yourself. But I will not be answering those. Aye. Victor asking the same shit bro i know that's what i do but like i can't answer that all three of you naughty bad stinky you boopos you stinky 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 i'm not answering that under the next question god damn pion cake finally it's somebody i know when's the next destiny 2 stream i don't know i haven't played the game in months destiny 2 is kind of poo poo you play it for like maybe a month at most after some new content comes out and then I don't touch it for months because it's like wow there's nothing to do more grinding and grinding and grinding wow rocky raccoon asking what is your favorite art commission ha fooled ya I've never actually purchased an art commission everything that's ever been done of my character has been either done by me or somebody done as done as gift art or a trade which has been fantastic they're all super nice artists, and I love every single one of you. Don't really have a favorite. Oh, no, I do. The one of me doing lewd acts at a a hole of very glorious variety is probably my favorite. It's just, it's so good. It's so good. Tiggy Canadian Feline. What a name, they ask. Fast action fist, you gotta, you got gonna answer Q&As like no tomorrow. Y'all, did you hear my neck crack? What the fuck? Ow. Ow. All right. Let me try to read that again. Fast action fists. You got gonna answer Q&As. Like, no Tom Row. Yes. Sure. Zoe just saying, ooh, great gif. Thank you. I, much, I very much appreciate it. Worked hard on that one. Totally didn't. It wasn't me, but you know, it's fine. Scroll down, you shit. I don't. Blah. Vibby Van Schmibby. <laughs> Vibby Van Schmibby. With your tag being Yiffy Yan Yiff Yit or fuck. Vinny Van Yiffy. <laughs> fuck. I don't recommend the Puggle Pugglism. One blow landed on the boob skin. You blow up glass cannons if you... I don't understand this question. I'm sorry. Anyway. Uh. Haha. <laughs> boobies. Cat's asking me if I'm actually two foot tall. And then with this glorious associated picture. No, I'm not two foot tall. And I'm taller than that, you ho. I'll fight you. Don't make me come down there and beat you up. Because I'm totally super tall. Look. Watch. Look. How tall am I? Look. I'm so tall. I can, I'm bigger than the couch. I'm so tall. Unbelievable. This is defamation of the highest order. Cannot believe you. Naruto asking me, do you watch anime? And if so, what's your favorite anime? I don't watch anime, so I don't have a favorite anime. All right, sick. Let's go. Next question. John Wolf. John, please. John, please. Will you please try Oreos and salsa for me? John, please. John, no. John, no. Why? Why? No. I'm not gonna try Oreos and salsa. Go to bed. Go to sleep. Dr. Nocturnal asking me. As a doctor, I'd love to do some experiments on you. Yes, experiments. Well, that's not creepy at all. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, I trust you. Yeah, dude, whatever you're gonna put like a bionic arm on me. I know what you're gonna do, but I'm trying to avoid the obvious. Because I've already made that joke a hundred times. <laughs> Boobies. Etri. 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 mun. Etri. mun. I don't know that name. Anyway. How did the idea come up to become this type of YouTuber slash streamer? I was laid off from my job, so I was like, let's go. Let's just make a character Twitter, see where that goes. And 
then it got popular and it was like, wow, I can make money off of this. So I made a Patreon and started streaming and I was like, wow, income. So now that's what I do. Thank you for asking me. Please watch my videos. I need to pay my rent. Please, can pretty please? Can you pay my rent for me? There we go. Now we're getting to the last few questions before I get to the ones that say, show additional replies, including those that may contain offensive content. Oh, I'm sure that'll be great once we get down to it. Keeper Ayeko asking me, are you gonna grow, yeah, hair out? Are you gonna grow your hair out? Gotcha. Are you gonna grow your hair out? Actually, I am working on a newish sort of variation of the model. Like this is still gonna be my main model. But I'm working on like a newer variation of the model with some help from a very big friend. When I say big, I don't mean size. I mean just they, they kind of popular, you know what I'm saying? They've helped me a little bit and using that, we're gonna have a new sort of head and hair to work with and it's gonna be awesome. It'll be great. I'm sure y'all will love it. The hair is gonna be long and flowy and it's what I've always wanted. I just want really long flowing hair on this character even though this is cute. Like all this is adorable. Long and flowy. It's more than just adorable. It's kind of fucking hot. So that's what I'll be doing. Uh, mm, I have nothing to say. Let's go. Next question. Zephy. Zephyr. Calling you Zephy. What made you create the Fuzzy Doctor? Surprise we actually got to get this far to get a Fuzzy Doctor question. Will we be seeing anything lewd with her on Patreon? Fucking A, bro. <laughs> Y'all are lewd. Stop trying to bone the doctor, okay? Alright? She's just trying to take you out for some nice coffee. And watch some Netflix with you, okay? Stop trying to bone my cute character, okay? Goddamn. Sack. <laughs> the unfunny guy. The <laughs> Sack. Asking, what are other hobbies of that fuzzy Dr. Hopkins and such? There it is. Let's go! Yeah, let's go! Fuzzy Doctor questions! <sighs> Other hobbies of the Fuzzy Doctor include I don't fucking know. I need to stop swearing because then YouTube won't monetize me. <laughs> um, Other Hopkins of the Hopkins. Other Hob. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, am I having a stroke? Other hobbies of the Hopkin include I don't know because it's not really a character that I've just like thought a bunch about. It's just kind of something that I made in Unity, like the Hobkin model. I took it and put it into Blender, made it a little more thick, slapped it into Unity. And that's all the thought that went into the Fuzzy Doctor. I'm sorry to crush your hopes and dreams, but I haven't, it's not really a fleshed out character. Maybe someday I'll do like a ref sheet or something for it and like fully flesh out some more character traits. But for right now, all we know about the Fuzzy Doctor is that she has some of my own personality traits because she likes music. Good personality trait. Congratulations, me. I'm so thoughtful and creative. Everybody. We are now on to that dreaded button. Replies that may include offensive content. Here we go. Favorite booze? <laughs> yeah, that was super offensive. That was- I'm- I am absolutely royally crushed that I got asked my favorite booze is. I can't say exactly because it's a local brewery, and it'll give away, I will dox myself, but I will say it's a cherry-ish. It's like kind of a cherry, um, like ale, like a beer. It's fucking awesome. It's so good. I love it. I buy it all the time. Alongside a blueberry beer, which is also, that one's actually probably my favorite. The cherry one is very close second, but that blueberry beer is fucking awesome, and I love every second of that, so... It's a blueberry beer. That's all I got for you. I'm sorry, because I can't go, do, go into too much detail because, like I said, doxing myself would be uncool. Why Booba's so big and round? Oh, whoa. Oh, you guys. You fuckers, bro. Ooh. Ah. I'm trying to have a video. I'm trying to get monetized, everybody. Come on. Archer with the final question, asking the real questions here. You have to replace a finger with a crab leg. On which hand are you making this replacement and with which finger? Mmm. Hard hitting questions here. I'm glad that we've got you around. Um, finger with a crab leg. It's gotta be the index finger on my right hand, right? Like, it's gotta be, because that way I can, like. Booga booga booga. Booga booga booga. Booga booga booga. You know? Like, that's gotta be the right answer, right? 
And the reason I say my right hand instead of my left is because I'm left hand dominant, so I can still write and do my things. I'm still having a fucking crab finger on my right hand. Let's go. That's such a guess. I, that's a poggers moment. Can I say that? Get canceled for saying poggers? I don't know. Anyway, crab finger on the right hand. That is where it will go. Get me a crab finger. Mm, yes. Very nice. I guess that's where this ends because like, like I said, I am out of questions. So what that means is I am going to be asking you to, in the comments below, leave your favorite questions you may have so that way I can answer them in the next video whenever that may happen probably months out because I edit at the pace of a snail. So I want you to all have an awesome evening. And as always, bye-bye for now.